Hello my beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I do readings for Pisces. Uh, right now for the summer I'm doing weeklies, bonuses and oracle messages near the end of the week. So I hope that I can see you there in the comments. Alright, so let's see here. Peace. Let's pull some cards, let's pull some cards, and let's see what we can come up with, okay? Serendipity. Why? A leg up. So looking at this, I feel very much that something is coming in for you that's peace. If, if you just read the words, let them sit with you. Peace, serendipity. Why? A leg up. It's almost like an answer to a question. Why am I feeling peace in my life? So much serendipity, in other words, things that feel like they're meant to happen. Why is this happening now? Because you've got a leg up. And that could be you giving yourself a leg up, could be somebody giving you a leg up. I feel that a lot of this has to do with you. I think that you are finding your solutions. You're finding the key to what you need to be finding, doing to get where you need to go. Let's look at the numbers. You have five, you have nine, you have four, and you have seven. So with the peace card, number five, ah, you see, if you look at people who look like they're at peace, who have everything together, who have, who have, you know, created lives for themselves. Lives that sometimes you look from the, in, the outside in and say, wow, I wish I had that life. Well, they are so lucky. They look like they have, they have it all. It looks like it's been handed to them. But I have a secret for you. Sometimes that simply isn't so. A lot of these people have, if you look at somebody who invests, they did studying, they looked at things, they figured out what was good, what was the safer investments, how they could get something over time. And they got smart and they took their time. And it came through wisdom, it came through learning, it came through being the student and then becoming a teacher, an expert right? Um, it's looking at traditions, changing them, building new ones. It's all about that. So you may be just seeing the end result of something, this, this beautiful peace, everything is good. However, there was a lot done. I, I, they're, they're showing me, if you look at a duck who's floating on water, right? There's that saying. If you look underneath the water, you see their little legs really going, really pedaling, but on the surface, it looks like everything is just gliding and easy, but there's a lot of work. There's a lot of quality. Serendipity is nine. All of this work, all of this wisdom, everything that you do to bring peace in your life, to bring, um, you know, um, organization that makes things simpler. It also provides you with opportunities to, to kind of hold on or, or, or latch on to things that will bring you more. Because by working to more, you get more. It's as simple as just saying, well, you want to be 
you want to be something in your life, you go study to be that in your life. And then you are that. And then you get more wisdom and you continue on. It's just the way of the world, right? It all has to do with knowing your stuff. It has to do with wisdom. And it's like anything else. If you're educated to know how the opportunities are formed, then you are in a better place to be there when the opportunities show up. So it makes you look like it's serendipity. Number nine is, is also, um, 18 is also the moon. It's also the hermit. It's a lot of introspection. It's a lot of um, paying attention to your intuition. It brings you a lot of opportunities. Then you have the why, and this why is four. And it has wings and questions and a book. And looking at this card, it, it just reiterates all of this. The more wisdom you accumulate, the more you learn, the more you know. So if I tell you Yes, the cup has fallen and all the liquid has, has gone everywhere. But instead of calling it a fail, think to yourself, well, now I have an empty cup. What else can I put in it now? Was the cup okay? Did it need to be repaired? Or was it just my clumsiness? The cup didn't disappear. Just the liquid in it went away. Went on the ground. But this represents an opportunity to maybe if you didn't want water in that cup and you wanted wine, well, there you go, you have an empty cup. You get wiser as you go. You figure out the whys. And then you know that a fallen cup is no longer a catastrophe. It may be just another opportunity. And that comes through education, it comes through wisdom, it comes through learning, it comes through living it. The seven for a leg up is the assessment that it takes for you to really put your mind to it and, and think of everything that can come with it, right? If you research things, if you assess things, if you know where to avoid the pitfalls because of being educated about them, either having um, had them happen to you or heard about them, you can persevere through things. You can avoid deception. You can make better choices. And you can find allies that will help you. By clearing the negative in your mind, you leave room for positive. By clearing your energy, you re leave room for better energy. By getting rid of fear, you have room for gratitude and happiness and joy. All right, so let's take some cards. Let's take a look to clarify these a little bit. So you're saying, but Jane, what is this week about? Well, I believe that this week is about you creating solution serendipity, peace in your life because of all the knowledge that you have. Perspective. Isn't that beautiful? Also, very close to that serendipitous card, right? in the way that it's elevated, the way it's going up. It is about perspective. It's about seeing the big picture. It's about seeing everything. It's a, it's another way of putting it, right? You've, you've studied the patterns. You were sometimes in limbo. And it made you shift your perspective. You knew you couldn't put the liquid back in the cup, but you knew you still had the cup. And you started using that knowledge instead of just sitting there in defeat. 
and being and being disappointed and sad and 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 giving up they said well yes the liquid is gone it's probably in the soil it's gone I can't put it back in I could but it would be full of dust or dirt or whatever and it's just then you're going but maybe that water that fell out it's gonna feed the soil there's something in the soil that's going to benefit from that water and I still have the cup and I have a whole big river if you look at the five of cups you have a whole big river of, of water and like I said this need to be water it could be something else suddenly an opportunity has shown up not a failing not a failing I know I'm repeating the same story but I want you to really get the essence of this. I want you to feel it. I want you to look at something in your life right now that you have looked at before as defeat. And I want you to find the opportunity. Something like, did you lose a job you hated? But when you lost it, you felt defeated because, well, you lost the money. I lost the money. I don't have that money anymore. Are there more jobs? Yes. Can I look for something that I'm going to like? Yes. Can I create a place or an opportunity that's going to be even better? Do I realize that losing one job is not the end of the world, that I can find another one? And will I carry that in the next job that I go in in case that job doesn't work out? Yes. Can I figure out, can I weed out the stuff that I didn't like? Was this a blessing? Would I have been miserable if I'd been there another 20 years? Probably yes. Okay? These are all things that you have to look at. Also asking you to look at the challenges in your life. It's asking you to persevere. It's asking you to stand your ground. It's asking you to believe in the principles. It's asking you to defend yourself when, when you feel like big things are working against you because sometimes we stay in places like the job I was mentioning because we have a lack of faith in ourselves we don't believe we can get anything better we don't believe we can do anything else and it's untrue it's a lie we tell ourselves we have potential to do anything we want we can be whoever we want I can wake up tomorrow and be somebody different if I want. There's nothing stopping it. Just my preconceived no notions, the perspective that I have at this moment is probably the only limit to what I can do. something to think about, isn't it? Seven of Swords. Look at that seven coming in. Coming in. What's the Seven of Swords, you guys? The Seven of Swords is feeling deceived, feeling undermined. It's sometimes ducking the sword to stay safe. I feel that with this one because I, if you don't look really well, you won't see that there is a cat hiding in here. Now, is it the one hiding from the dangers or is the danger lurking? 
That's the question here. What actual dangers are lurking for you? I'm sure without a doubt we can list a whole bunch of dangers just by thinking about it. I could probably list you a bunch of dangers around me right now if I wanted to. With everything there is, all the electronic equipment, everything that, that I have here that could go wrong, that might go wrong. I could be completely paralyzed and, and in fear of every single thing. And I do believe that at some points in my life I was. As probably some of you have as well. It's a crippling fear. Nothing is actually happening around you. You're just sitting here peacefully doing absolutely nothing. But yet all at once you have the biggest fear and the biggest the biggest worries in the world weighing heavily on your shoulders. It's how am I going to get out of this? Everything is perspective. Temperance. Five. Hmm. Everything in balance. I feel that spirit here is saying that you have done this work. You sh you've chosen your seven carefully. You've gone from this to a leg up. Very different feeling than what it was before. The perspective has changed from always being in such danger, in such conflict, to being at peace, to being feeling serendipitous because of your whys, because of the things that you looked at, right? Your three, twelve, went into your four. Your perspective asked why. Why? That brought you into your five. Temperance. That brought you back into balance and into peace. And I'm pointing at two fives here. It brought back the balance. And all you had to ask is, why do I feel this way? Why is it a no-win? Does it have to be a no-win? Can it be a, well, maybe there's a solution to this. And then it becomes a, a result. Not a yes or a no, just a, I do this and it resulted into that. Instead of just saying, I win or I lose, you just have different results. And you work with them. If it's not a result that you want, you work at it again and get another result. You just keep working at it. You keep making it happen until something that you want manifests. Until the perspective that you're looking at changes. Now, I talk a good game, my beautiful Pisces, but I am very much like the world. I was raised by very strict parents who didn't always do the right thing, but expected me to. I think many parents are this way. Do as I do, do as I say, not as I do, was um, my father's favorite saying. There's only one problem with that. We do by example, and if the examples that are shown to us are teaching us constantly about restrictions, limitations, fears, and I don't know, um, sadness and anger. 
it really flows into you and kind of stays with you. It takes a long time to unpack. But I do believe that you can reprogram. You just simply have to keep working at it. You have to keep doing the work until you get to the part where you finally, when something happens, like a cup falls, you go, ooh, all right, so the ground's getting water and I have a cup to fill. The anger is gone, the despair is gone. You, you observe a result and you move on. You simply just move on. Once you reach that point, you're doing pretty good. Now, what does this mean for you this week? Well, I think it means that Spirit wants you to take a look at the things that you have done. Do you find that you have more peace in your life? Do you find that it's like, you know, serendipity, things, you, you, you're thinking of something and there it is. You know, it's like finding that parking spot right next to the door. Well, wasn't that nice, right? Do you find that things are happening for you, not to you? Have you done a lot of research to figure out things? Did you stop eating one food and started eating another and started feeling better? Did your wisdom give you more power? Did it empower you even more? Did your research help make you grow and expand? I think Spirit wants you to look at that. And if you're still feeling fear and you're feeling like defensive and you're harboring all these feelings, how can you change your perspective? How can you bring yourself back into balance? They want you to look at that this week. And the other part is, let you know, is that you may not always get it right. Sometimes you're going to get angered for no reason. You're going to get upset at somebody because you expected them to do something when you shouldn't be have expectations of anybody, right? But it happens, right? Why didn't you do that? Well, it's okay. But what's important is at one point to go, well, I shouldn't have expected anything. Why do I still expect something from somebody? Why am I so disappointed? They don't owe me anything. Ah, uh, the knowledge of you knowing what you did, knowing where you stepped in it, as I like to call it, that gives you, that's, that's also kudos to you, that's also a thumbs up because you caught yourself. So I want you to explore that this week. So this spirit, take a good look at these things. If you're at the top row where everything is kind of just happening for you and you're having a fantastic period in your life, well, continue with it. If you are, but you're getting a little bit sometimes where you feel like, oof, I think I, I, think I veered off a little bit. Spirit is telling you that's okay too. We're all a work in progress. The only thing I would say is to really sit and look at it as if you're always feeling like these two cards. You still have work to do. Because you don't want to stay in that energy. This energy steals from you like the Seven of Swords. It takes away your power. You want to keep that power. You want to be strong, happy, grateful, full of joy. So that's it for today's um, reading. Thank you so much for being here. I will do a bonus on this um, in the week, and then there will be an oracle message. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I enjoyed doing it for you. Have a great week, my beautiful Pisces. Love, light, and blessings. Don't forget to watch along.
and to hit that like button and leave me a comment to let me know how you are. If you can only do an emoji, I understand. But if you can, let me know how it's going with you. I'd love to hear from you. Bye for now.